Hello everyone, today's video content is Analysis of the Real Questions of the API 510 Exam and Explanation of Relevant Knowledge Points The following test questions are all from our question bank and they were updated on December 16th, 2024. Study Guide Question 1. Which activity is outside the scope of duties for a pressure vessel inspector as per API 510? The knowledge points of this question are Roles and responsibilities of a pressure vessel inspector Inspectors don't design pressure vessels. They make sure they're safe. Their job is to check that vessels meet safety standards, inspect them regularly, and keep detailed records. They keep everything safe and compliant. So the correct answer is... Inspectors don't design new pressure vessels. That's the job of designers and engineers. Their main role is checking safety, doing inspections, and keeping records, not designing. Question 2. According to API 510, how should pressure vessels be inspected after being affected by a natural disaster? The knowledge points of this question are Inspection protocols post-natural disaster After a natural disaster, it's crucial to inspect pressure vessels more carefully. Disasters can damage vessels which might make them unsafe. Inspectors need to ensure everything is still safe to use. So the correct answer is After a disaster, it's really important to double check the safety of pressure vessels because they could have been damaged. Enhanced inspections make sure nothing's missed and that everything is still safe to operate. Question 3. What practice does API 510 identify as potentially detrimental to the longevity of a pressure vessel? The knowledge points of this question are Factors affecting longevity of pressure vessels Running a vessel hotter than it's supposed to be can cause damage and make it unsafe. It's important to stick to the designed temperature limits to keep the vessel running safely for a long time. So the correct answer is Heating a pressure vessel more than it's designed for can cause serious damage over time, it's not safe, and can shorten the vessel's life by causing stress and wear. Question 4. What type of documentation is not typically mandated by API 510 for a pressure vessel undergoing substantial repairs? The knowledge points of this question are Documentation requirements for repairs when a pressure vessel needs major repairs, you need a detailed plan approved by an inspector, a record of past repairs, and updated drawings. You don't always need a new certificate from the manufacturer, but everything should be well documented and checked by an inspector to ensure safety. So the correct answer is... When repairing a pressure vessel, you don't necessarily need a new certification from the manufacturer. The focus is on having a solid repair plan, keeping good records of past work, and making sure the current repairs are up to standard. Question 5. Which of the following safety features is not a mandatory requirement by API 510 for operating pressure vessels in hazardous conditions? The knowledge points of this question are Safety features for operating pressure vessels API 510 requires leak detection and pressure relief systems for operating pressure vessels safely, especially in risky conditions. Just having one safety system isn't enough. Using multiple systems together makes operations much safer. So the correct answer is just having pressure relief devices isn't enough in hazardous conditions. API 510 says you need a more comprehensive safety setup, like leak detection and other systems, to ensure total safety. 
If you have any questions about the API 510 exam, please leave a message in the comment area or contact us directly. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.